today on our new segment, I really like this, Made in the O.C., we're flying high. O.C. Register reporter Glenn Hall takes us to two locations in Santa Ana where workers make parachutes used in military operations around the world. I'm here with Gary Calvanesso, the Executive Vice President of Marketing for Airborne Systems, a parachute maker right here in the heart of Orange County. Tell us how it all began. Well, it all began in 1919 with Leslie Irvin, who was a Hollywood stuntman, did the first free fall parachute jump and started an entire industry. What's being made here? Well, we manufacture parachutes for militaries around the globe. Uh, currently, we're manufacturing uh, a steerable parachute for the U.S. military special operations, called the MC-6. We're also manufacturing cargo parachutes for the British. The reason why we are in Orange County is our labor force here is extremely skilled, and it's very important. We have a lot of labor content that goes into our product. So you've got a lot of history at this place, including a little story about General Doolittle, right? Yes. In fact, I always start the plant tour with the picture of General Doolittle. And the reason that is, is our customers are literally, their safety of their lives hangs in a, by a thread. So tell me a little bit about the aerospace applications of Airborne's technologies. We have a wide variety of products that we serve with our customers, anything from aerial targets, aerial delivery equipment, to space recovery systems. Um, we work with pyrotechnics, electronics, mechanical, and aerodynamic pieces of the, uh, of the component. So we've seen from a stuntman's early jump from an airplane in 1919 to today's production of the latest Space Age technologies, we're still manufacturing right here in Orange County. Okay, quite an accomplishment, you think about it, from former mm -hmm. stuntman and company founder Leslie Irvin. And if you think about it, General James Harold Doolittle wouldn't have been around for his heroic feats during World War II had it not been for the efforts of airborne systems. Yeah, especially like they manufacture that stuff right here in Orange County because they can get the skilled labor to do it.